People ask me all the time, Michael, what was your big break? Our next guest has performed on Comedy Central's Premium Blend. He made his first appearance on The Tonight Show from the Montreal Comedy Festival. You've seen him on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. That wasn't a big break. The big break was at a club. And right before I got on stage, I had a change in mindset about comedy. Normally when a comedian gets on stage, he wants to get laughs from people. And I felt a little shift take place where I felt like I was to go up there and give them an opportunity to laugh. Now I'm not looking to take, I'm looking for an opportunity to give. This changed everything. My name is Michael Jr. I'm gonna do some jokes. And ultrasounds come in color now, which is ridiculous. I know it's a black baby. It better be a black baby. I leave the club that night, and there's all these people giving me hugs and high fives, telling me their favorite jokes. Then I look across the street, and I saw a homeless guy. And I thought to myself, what about him? Most comedy, most jokes are set up. My son, four years old, looks at me out of nowhere. And he says, Dad, I want to be a doctor. I was like, yes, yes. And then a punchline. Then he said, or a dinosaur. I understand that me doing comedy and doing all of these TV shows and making all these people laugh is really just a setup. My punchline is to make laughter commonplace in uncommon places. We go to Montrose, Colorado, a place called the Dolphin House. They take care of children who have been abused by their parents. And his grandmother explains to me that her um, grandson is being abused by his mom. He's so afraid of his mom that everywhere he goes, he wears a Spider-Man costume. So I get on stage, sitting right up front, Spider-Man. I start doing comedy. People start laughing, slowly but surely. Probably about 25 minutes into it, I hear a voice, and the voice says, my name is Ronan. And this little boy pulls off his mask. And it was one of the most powerful moments in my entire comedy career. If we could just stop asking the question, what could I get for myself? and start asking the question, what can I give from myself? I think people would learn that you don't have to be a comedian to deliver a punchline. It's really what I want to get across to people. And I think I just did. I looked at the camera again. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Anything else you can think of? Yeah, I'm gonna say it right now. You've been set up. You in the setup. Be the punchline. Okay, I'm gonna walk off dramatically. <laughs>